Good morning. I hope you're doing well. Today I pray God will richly bless you as you go throughout this day today. As we rejoice, praise Him, serve Him, spend time talking to Him and studying His Word. I want to read to you today from 1 John chapter 2, verse 15, 16, and 17. It says, Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world is passing away, and the lust of it. But he who does the will of God abides forever. Now, in these verses here, the world means what belongs to Satan. There's a lot of things in this world that's not wrong, that's not sinful, that are beautiful, that are precious. God created it. But when you see the term world, that means it belongs to the enemy. And it's wrong, it's sinful. And the Bible is clearly stating here that if we love the world, the evilness that is in this world, the sin that is in this world, then we're not of God. The Bible talks about us to be separated. We're to be that peculiar people. And we need to do that because if, if we don't, we're not going to spend eternity with God. He says here, all that is in the world is passing away. And the Jesus said that this world, as we see it today, one day will no longer exist. God's going to destroy it because of the sin that has come into this world. And if we are part of the world, we're not going to spend eternity with God. But those who does the will of the Father who separates themselves from this world, who refuses to give in to the things of this world that are wrong, that are sinful, we're going to live with God forever. So today we, as individuals, have to make that choice. Are we going to enjoy the things down here for a season? It's not going to last forever. Or are we going to serve God, separate ourselves from the things of the world that one day we may spend eternity with God? Don't believe the lies of the devil that it's okay, God's going to pass it on, God's going to let you go on in. Don't, work, don't you believe that. We must stay separated from the world. If God did not allow the angels who revolted against him with the devil to stay in heaven, he throwed them out. He looked down upon earth, saw how sinful things had become, and he only saw one man with a total of eight people, Noah and his family, that he saved. He, he kept past, I mean, he done away with the sinful man. What makes us think that we're going to escape such a judgment? You heard it said here, the things that are in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life is not a part of God. If we must draw close to God and stay separated from the world, don't let sin creep into our life. And if we're not careful, the devil is good at what he does. If we're not careful. It can do that. It can creep into our lives. Be on guard. Stay in the Word. Pray. Seek God. Draw close to Him so that we one day may make heaven our home. Lord, I praise you today and thank you for the promise that you've given us, Lord, of eternal life. The promise that one day we can live with you if we will draw away from this world and draw close to you and separate ourselves. We can spend eternity with you. I pray today, God, if there's anyone listening to these videos that has not made that decision. God, today will be the day that they come to know you as Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. I pray today, thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for praying for me as I take the time to do this. I, I love serve, sharing God's word with everyone, and I pray that you'll take these videos and share them with the people on your Facebook. Maybe somehow, some way, all of us working together for the Lord will win a soul for him. And I pray today God will richly bless you.